Microsoft had their release. Uh, so if you're not on the 2012 ESU, or if you're one of those few who are on the server 2008, 2008 R2 ESU year four, um, there's uh, only about seven, what we refer to as updates or bulletins that they released under. So Windows 10 and Windows 11, the server editions that they've got there, um, and a couple other things that we're going to talk about. .NET, Google Studio, has about, uh, an update, um, and uh, SharePoint. I'll, I'll cover some more details there in a little bit. Actually, SQL too this month, I believe. Um, and then Google did have an update. They resolved one CVE in that update. Mozilla did release some updates, but there, from what we saw, there were no CVEs tied to that. I don't know if they've updated since last night, but I, last time I checked, they didn't have any CVEs relating this month. Adobe only had one update this month, and it was for one of the, the publisher um, uh, 3D, I believe, um, up, uh, application there, which not widely, you know, if, if you have it in your environment, it's going to be on a handful of systems in the uh, creative team. It's not going to be widespread throughout your user environment. So um, a light release for January's Patch Tuesday. Not a bad thing. Uh, also good news, no public disclosures, no exploited vulnerabilities in the lineup that we're talking about here today. There's a couple of other products we'll talk about that do have some, some exploits in the wild going on, but those are for more uh, platform and uh, you know network perimeter type solutions that um, are not in the category of easily patchable. Those are going to be things that typically require a little bit more hands-on, like you're not going to go and uh, update your firewalls or routers or things like that with a simple patch. You've got specialized people who go and push updates to that and have to go through a body of tests with a team of people on a conference bridge for several hours. That's the, that we're going to talk about some of those things at times, but, uh, sorry, looks like my microphone is occasionally getting muffled. Oh. So starting off with a little bit of that news, two recent zero days that, uh, that were hitting the news that I, I just wanted to touch on real quick. The first article that I wanted to bring up was there is an alert that went out um, around the Barracuda. Uh, there's a Chinese uh, threat group that are targeting uh, Barracuda's zero-day flaw that's out there right now. If you are running Barracuda, just make sure that you're taking a look at this and uh, providing uh, whatever guidance internally that you need to to get this updated within your environment. Uh, so that is in, there's a link in there, but CBE 2023-7102 is the CBE in this case. The vulnerability is a flaw in their email security gateway appliances. Um, so if you are running that, actively being targeted, make sure to get, uh, get moving on getting that one resolved. The second that I wanted to touch on today is um, Apache. Uh, Apache's uh, off-biz enterprise uh, planning ERP solution. Uh, this had a couple of vulnerabilities. One that was patched last year, CVE 2023-49070, did not fully fix the issues that they were seeing. So Sonic Wall has been monitoring continued um, attacks against the uh, Apache off-biz uh, framework. There is an additional CVE now that's been identified. So when when Apache went in and resolved this issue, they basically they didn't resolve everything in that depth. Um, they resolved um, the entry point that they thought was kind of the main threat there. Um, but these uh, threat actors found a way around the first fix and were still able to attack the the kind of the root flaw in this uh, situation. So that's CVE 2023-51467. Um, so if you did have that uh, uh, vulnerability, the 2023-49070, and you push the update for that, be aware there is a second vulnerability. It's actively being targeted. Um, I believe one of my two articles actually had, yeah, this is the one. So this is the traffic that they were seeing. So um, targeting this new vulnerability uh, this is the number of attempts, um, uh, successful or, or, or failed in, what, in, in those cases, but the number of attempts they've seen to exploit that specific vulnerability, and it has
has been spiking as they, they approach the end of the year and into this year. So definitely something that's actively being targeted. Um, make sure that you're getting uh, your Apache Office um, updates in place for that second vulnerability. Uh, so there's two different articles. Each kind of takes a slightly different approach at discussing that. But the, uh, the information that's really important here is uh, the CVE, the new CVE is identified there and the version that you need to, 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 to patch up to um, is described in there. So uh, that's there in case any of you are running either the Barracuda or Apache solutions that are making some headlines. The other piece of news that we wanted to touch on is Microsoft has introduced the Windows protected print mode. So I think we all remember print nightmare, um, what a nightmare, that uh, basically since then, there's been kind of this dreaded moment whenever the print spooler gets touched that uh, printing is going to break all over again for, for, for many of us. So a number of organizations have uh, put in a special battery of additional testing in their test cycles. Whenever the print spooler is touched, they go deeper on and make sure that all printing is still functional because uh, several people got bit many times after print nightmare um, was first resolved. Um, but Microsoft is trying to make the overall print experience better. Uh, so they have provided a new uh, protocol. It's the Internet Print Protocol. Um, and this is trying to address the, the security flaws within the, or the, um, the driver and um, IPP uh, security issues that have existed there throughout. So this new Windows print, protected print mode is supposed to address those flaws with a new way of approaching this. Um, so this article on the blog does describe what this uh, new approach is to that. Um, it talks about the driver problem. It talks about print nightmare and really how the privileges required to do the old approach were a, a fundamental flaw in all of this. So it's going to go in and talk about uh, what what Microsoft is doing, uh, point and print and other things like that. <laughs>